Newborns are natural learners and their early learning heavily depends on sensory experiences. These early sensory inputs or experiences play a very important role in maturation of their senses and brain development. While in the mother's womb, fetuses continuously receives a variety of sensory stimuli, nurturing their sensory and brain development. However, preterm birth and the challenging neonatal care unit environment can disrupt this natural process, potentially leading to attention, memory, and behavioral issues later in life. In this module, we explore how to provide appropriate sensory stimulation in the NCU to support optimal sensory development in preterm infants. The sensory system encompasses seven senses namely tactile, vestibular, proprioceptive, gustatory, olfactory, auditory, and visual, each playing a critical role in a newborn's development. Sense of touch is first to develop and crucial for developing feelings of safety, emotional bonding, and attachment. In the womb, fetus enjoys pleasant touch from amniotic fluid and self-touch. After birth, preterms experience insensitive overhandling in the neonatal unit. Negative touch experiences can leave lasting effects on her future behavior to touch and pain. We can provide positive touch experiences to preterms if we promote gentle, warm, and frequent parental touch. Use firm, not feathery touches. Encourage early, prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact. Support a calming hold during stressful procedures. Encourage hand-to-mouth exploration and self-soothing. Promoting palm-to-palm -palm bonding through grasping. Perform gentle firm massage for few minutes about three to four times a day. We may use a gentle oil, starting from limbs, moving to chest, abdomen, and lastly face. Vestibular sense is responsible for balance and coordination. In contrast to the pleasant floating experience in womb, preterms in NCU encounter abrupt, jerky movements that disrupt normal development of this sense often resulting in imbalance or fear of heights later in life. Positive vestibular experiences can be provided if we prevent sudden, unsupported movements. Support baby's head when moving them in or out of the cot. Change baby's position slowly while maintaining contact with the bed. Consider gentle rocking for a few minutes during each shift. Proprioceptive sense of perceiving body position and movement can be encouraged by providing gentle, firm pressure near joints with gentle massage. Baby may be allowed free limb movements before diaper change. Gustatory sense develops in mid-pregnancy with exposure to flavors in amniotic fluid. After birth breast milk provides positive taste experience. However, tube-fed babies miss this experience. This can be overcome by mouth painting with colostrum or mother's milk on a finger three to four times daily. Giving medicines through the tube, not mixed with milk, once oral feeding begins. Olfaction helps the fetus bond with the mother via amniotic fluid. Preterm infants miss out on this and may be exposed to unpleasant chemical smells. We can promote positive smell experiences with skin-to-skin -skin contact, placing mother's milk-soaked cloth near baby, avoiding strong-smelling hand rubs or perfumes near baby. In the womb, hearing develops through mom's voice and amniotic fluid. Preterm babies face lot of noise in neonatal unit that interferes with auditory development. This can be helped if Mother is encouraged to speak or sing softly during care. We minimize ambient noise, avoiding bedside talking, loud alarms, and mobile phones, and handle equipment gently. Vision develops after full term and exposing preterm infants to bright lights can interfere with this process. To promote visual development, use dim light during the day, dimmer at night for day-night rhythm. 
Shield the eyes from overhead lights. Avoid abrupt light changes. Skip black and white contrasts and bright toys until term age. Encourage mother's face as the main visual experience and ask her to maintain eye contact during daily activities and kangaroo mother care. To conclude, optimal brain development in preterms must be supported with individualized, age-appropriate sensory inputs. Empowering parents to deliver these sensory experiences recreates a nurturing womb-like environment in the NCU, promoting overall growth and well-being.